How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and this is going to be um, some free action sequences that you can use for your RPG Maker MV project. So at driftwoodgaming.com, I've updated the action sequences list so that we have 10 action sequences that you can easily copy-paste into your project and uh, turn your regular... Uh, uh, regular attacks into something that looks a little bit better. So it's really easy to use these action sequences, but you will need Yanfly's plugins. You're going to need uh, YEP underscore core engine, the battle engine core, uh, action sequence packs one, two, and three. You may not need three for all of them, but you might as well get all three because um, this is going to control the camera, this is going to control uh, movements and this is going to control like basic functionality. So just get those three plugins installed or four, uh, five plugins installed actually, and uh, you'll be able to copy paste these into your game. So before I uh, go through the process of copy pasting it, I thought I'd some people might be interested as to what they look like. They're nothing super fancy. They're basic attack uh, sequences, um, like the attack uh, sequence that takes you across the screen, and uh, you know. If you're using a ranged weapon, you'll just shoot from where you're standing. Um, the first one, Guard Breaker, it's going to have you uh, basically hop on your enemy and uh, hit him with a, an ability. Uh, Rage Lance is like a four-hit combo. You just run around. And you can always change these act uh, action sequences to fit however you want it to be. Pretty simple action sequences, um, but I notice a lot of the games that people send me, you know, are missing some action sequencing, so I thought I'd make it a little bit easier for you guys to add a little bit of action sequencing to your, uh, your moves and abilities, and then uh, once you have something to work with, you can modify it so that it looks cooler and uh, has different effects, and all of the animations you're seeing will be different, right, because it's using animations that you put in your database, so I'll give you the code. Uh, and you'll have an action sequence, and then you just basically put whatever animations you want in your game. And that's pretty much it. So pretty simple action sequences. Let's look at those in-game and see how you would add those. First thing you do is you go to driftwoodgaming.com, you go over to RPG Maker MV, and you click on that, and then you see action sequences, and then we have uh, a list of action sequences. So for the attack one right here, you, you uh, click on attack, you're going to highlight uh, right underneath uh, this first part, and you're going to basically left click and drag and just copy everything in between those uh, the hyphens. Uh, copy those, go into your project, and then go to your basic attack. Everything is going to be put into the note tags. So you'll go here, and you just paste it in here, just like that. And then whenever uh, an enemy attacks or the player attacks, they'll move across the screen and hit. And the same thing for the other ones as well. We'll just take a look at, say, Guard Breaker. And later on, I'm going to add this video up at the top so that people can uh, see the action sequences so they know what they look like. Just kind of basically really simple. Highlight it, copy it, go to your project, select the skill you want it to be for, and then paste it in there. And that's pretty much it. So really short video, just uh, some more stuff that you can use in your project. Hopefully you guys like uh, some free action sequences that you can use. We've got 10 now. Uh, including the basic attack one. I'll add some more later on and I'll keep updating the action sequence list for you guys to, to see different uh, action sequences. But that's going to do it for this video. If you want more action sequences, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You'll get more updates on uh, re free, re free resources and stuff you can do. Um, if you want to um, join the indie dev group, it's really easy. You come to driftwoodgaming.com and you just basically... Um, You'll see it'll look different right here, and you can go to group forums and uh, create your own account. You'll have the option to create an account right here on the sidebar, and you can join uh, the forums here, you know, introduce yourself and whatnot. But that's all optional stuff. You don't have to do any of that if you don't want to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.